Hey Soapy folks, this is uh, Kevin with Divinely Designed and this is a soap video. Um, I think this will be a fast video actually. Um, one of my YouTube viewers asked me about using evaporated milk and I've never used evaporated milk, not even in cooking. So I've used goat milk for soap and I've used uh, sweetened condensed milk for baking. Um, so anyway, I thought I would do sort of a milk themed soap. So I'm going to call this one Tres Leches, right? So that's like, you know, the classic um, dessert that's made with three milks. It's a cake that's soaked in milk. Um, so I'm using a bunch of different milks for this, and so I thought I would call it Tres Leches. So um, no colors, no fragrances, just the milk. Um, so, and actually I'm using four milks, but we'll go over the recipe in a second here. So, um... All right, so recipe. We have, for my oils, 130 grams of olive oil, 227 grams of coconut oil, 76 degree, 127 grams of cocoa butter, 127 grams of shea butter, 170 grams of castor oil, and 170 grams of beef tallow. And this tallow happens to be tallow that I made myself, that I rendered from um, beef fat that I got. Now, the recipe, if you put this in soap cal, it calls for 517 grams of water. So I replaced the majority of that with milk, and the breakout is as follows. I have 100 grams of heavy cream, 100 grams of sweetened condensed milk, and 225 grams of evaporated milk. Now the rest, that, doesn't, that does not total up to 517. The rest I totaled up with some ice chips that I had added in there to keep it cool when I added the lye. However, I clearly didn't have enough ice. I probably should have done 100 grams of each of the milks and then added the ice. But you can see this turned out very, very orange and um, it's, you know, some of the milk solids um, have sort of been affected by the lye. Uh, but I know this happens with goat's milk. If you use goat's milk and you don't keep it really cold, it gets this funky orange color and it has kind of a bad smell. But um, um, usually that shouldn't affect the end soap. Now the color won't be white, obviously, but it probably won't be this orange. It'll probably be like a tan. Um, and that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to embrace the brown, as, they, so, as some people say. So it looks kind of gross, but it'll, get, um, it'll be a fine soap, I think. All right, so that's all the milks. My temperatures are right around 85 degrees. I also have some powdered goat's milk that I'm going to add, and I'm going to add that to my oils right now and give them a little blend. doing that so I don't get any clumps of the of the powder that's all okay all right I imagine this is gonna thicken up pretty quickly um, but again I'm not really I'm not doing anything other than the soap so no colors no fragrances no designs Give this a little buzz.
Okay. All right, I think we're all mixed up. Now, I, I am curious about Trace about this because it has so much milk in it. There's no water. I mean, there's very little water. Um, I thought it might thicken up pretty fast. It doesn't seem to be. And I'm just... I'm just starting to get light trace now, it looks like, yeah. So I'm just gonna give it just a little bit more blending because I'm not really doing anything to it. And some of that milk kind of got chunky from the lye, so I think the blending will help smooth it out a little bit too. But um, I'm just getting to trace, just light trace now, so I think that's good. I'm going to just pour this in the mold. And uh, I think this orange color will lighten up some. feels kind of weird not doing any designs or anything. Okay, that's it. Trace Lake Cheese Soap. Um, stick around after the break will be the uh, unmolding cutting of the soap. Thanks, Mike. Okay, everyone, this is uh, the unmolding and cutting of my Trace Leches soap. Um, I love this recipe. It's only been, I want to say, like a little over, uh, maybe five hours. And Look, that just came comes out so perfect. Now, it's I mean it's obviously a little bit soft, but I mean not bad at all. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so the color, I, you know, I thought it might tame down just a little bit, but it stayed, you know, it's still got that kind of orangey-ness to it, but on the outside, it's getting more tan, and I, I expect it to sort of get that way. 
It has a it has a tiny bit of an odor to it right now, but again, I sort of expect that to go away too. It looks really nice. The bars came out very nice. Um, so I'm excited to use this one actually. I bet it'll feel really good. So not a whole lot to show you with this one. Uh, and there's a little bit of a gel. It might be hard to see on the camera. Just a little bit in the middle. Just seems like this the very center sort of gel, just a tiny bit. Okay, that's it. Um, Tres leches soap um, with evaporated milk, sweetened condensed milk, heavy cream, some goat's milk powder, and um, that's it. Um, questions, comments, leave them below. I love to get them and answer them. If you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, check back for more soap and bath and beauty related videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.